Good morning, it's Matthias, once again from Future Fast Forward. I'm sure all of you throughout Malaysia and many parts of the world must have been shocked to watch the press conference of the Attorney General of the United States of America, Loretta Lynch, disclosing their father's civil suit to seize assets and monies belonging to 1MDB. And I'm quite sure when you receive my email, SMS and WhatsApp telling you to watch my video speech this morning, you must be shocked by the title or the caption of that uh, video address. The I, Matthias Chang, will try to prove Najib innocence. Is Matthias a traitor? Now, why did I use the caption? Because there was a statement from the Attorney General of Malaysia which says this DOJ did not name Najib in civil suits. Appendi, Tansu Appendi, our Attorney General. Therefore, since the DOJ complaint in America did not name Najib by name, is it innocent or guilty? Or is a pandi covering up the crimes of Najib? And because Najib's name is not referred to in the complaint filed in the USA, can I, Matthias check prove Najib's innocence? This declaration of innocence was also echoed and repeated by this uh, minister, Saleh Kruak, and he said, and I quote, no one should rush to judgment before allegations are proven in court. I repeat, huh? he says, Saleh Kruak, from Sabah. No one should rush to judgment before allegations are proven in court. Very fair statement. At first glance, okay? At first glance, first reading. But let me tell you, in reality, there are many crimes we are deemed guilty until proven innocence. For example, drugs cases. If you have more a certain amount of drugs in your body, in your possession, you are deemed a trafficker and potentially liable to be hung as a trafficker until you can prove in the court of law that you are not a trafficker. There are also other crimes. Take my case for example. As a lawyer, I accounted my client to lodge police reports against the money laundering activities of 1MDB, Jolo and his accomplices, and the Nazi regime. But I have been arrested pursuant to the provision in the penal code for sabotage or attempting sabotage against the financial and banking institutions of Malaysia and thereby come under the draconian provisions of the Secret Offences Special Measures Act 212 SOSMA and I presume by virtue of SOSMA to be a terrorist and no bail is allowed so it's not in every case that a person is deemed innocent and they're proven guilty in the eyes of the Najib regime, in the eyes of Salim Kouak, in the eyes of Attorney General, the mere report by my client, logic of repress report in foreign jurisdictions, give rise to the presumption that Matthias Cheng, a lawyer, acting on behalf of a client in accordance with my duty under the Legal Profession Act, 
must be charged, must be arrested, charged in prison without bail under source law. So in my case, I was judged already to be a terrorist and was locked up. But I'm only free temporarily because a high court judge has found that the charge against me is invalid, unconstitutional. But the two general chambers has appealed to the Court of Appeal and insist I'm guilty as a terrorist. I must therefore be locked up, deny, deny my freedom, and treat a terrorist. Okay? So this is the situation. Nevertheless, since Sally Kowak and the Attorney General says Najib is not named at all in the complaint of the uh, US Attorney General, he must be deemed innocent of all the allegations in the complaint. Well, I shall do my very best, I shall do my very best to prove Najib's innocence. Because I must be fair, would you agree? That I must be fair and objective? I'll try to, okay? I'll try to. And recently, the PMO, PREP's office, issued a press statement, all right? And this is what it says, okay? I'll read to you, huh? the press statement of the PMO, Najib's office. Quote, unquote, Malaysian authorities have led the way in investigations of the 1MDB. The company has been the subject of multiple investigations within Malaysia, including by the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Commission, the Auditor General, and by Party Sarn, Party Accounts Committee. After comprehensive review, the Auditor General found that no crime was committed. What MDB is still the subject of an investigation by the Royal Malaysian Police. We note that the United States Department of Justice civil lawsuits brought against various assets. As previously stated, the Malaysian government will fully cooperate with any lawful investigation of Malaysian companies or citizens in accordance with international protocols. As the Prime Minister has always maintained, if any wrongdoing is proven, the law will be enforced without exception. Let's see whether this press statement gives rise to a presumption that Najib is innocent. I will now try to prove by this statement that Najib is innocent of all charges. Okay, I try. Okay, I try. Now, if I am a layman in Kamu Atap, a small town in a, a village or kampung in rural area, in uh, Alosta, for example, a, a small city in, in uh, up north, with no exposure to mainstream media, to internet, and this published in Putusan Melayu, Putusan Malaysia, Straight Times, Star, whatever, I would tend to say Najib is innocent because it says so by the Prime Minister. And we must believe the Prime Minister, right? After all, he is the Prime Minister. But then, I have one difficulty. I have one difficulty. You see, this press statement, while it is true, that there were multiple investigations in Malaysia. This press secretary, Tato Sri Tunku Salifuddin, press secretary, prime minister, have let out a chunk of information and facts, irrefutable facts, which I find it very difficult to swallow. Even though right now, I'm trying to prove that Najib is innocent, understand? So, I'm very, very bothered, you know, because why? In this press statement, 
this press secretary completely forgot that their key senior officers of MCC were arrested, interrogated. Some was even transferred to the Bev office, but of course later re-transferred as a result of the public protest. Officials from Ben Nagala was interrogated. Officers from Attorney General Chambers was interrogated and threatened. The members of the PAC, the first PAC committee, was promoted to be deputy ministers, all of them. And there was a delay. And then a new committee was set up, headed by another chairman. So it was delayed. And this chairman later came out and was accused by his other members of suppressing, covering up two letters from Ben Nagara, which disclosed very importantly who owned a company called Good Star. So these are the facts. And that the Attorney General, the previous one, Tan Sri Gani Patel, was sacked and replaced with the new Attorney General, Tan Sri Apandi. Okay? So, this statement, if I don't have refer to any other facts or activities that have transpired, I would say by this statement, Najib is innocent. But now that I have disclosed all these extra facts and incidents and activities, I have a lot of difficulty in coming to the conclusion that Najib is innocent. But never mind, okay? I try some other way to prove his innocence. If I can't prove his innocence by this press statement, never mind, never mind, never mind. Then you have the press statement by one MDB. And it says that one MDB has not been contacted by the Attorney General of Office of USA, that is not a party to the civil suit in USA, and therefore I don't have any assets in the USA. No, he has benefited from the various transactions described in a civil suit. So again, on reading the press statement of 1MDB, it seems very clear that 1MDB is innocent of the allegations in the DOJ complaint in the United States of America. So by this statement, and since Najib is a chairman of the advisory board who holds all the authority to approve all the transactions of 1MDB. It looks by this press statement of 1MDB, Najib is innocent. And if I don't know anything else, like a fisherman in Sukhai Besar, or a farmer in Kedah, a worker in the world, that's all uh, all palm plantations in Johor or Slango. And if I only read the simple news stories in Bahasa Malayu or in Mandarin as a hawker, Chinese hawker, I may very well believe and accept the innocence of one MDB and the innocence of Najib. To be fair to him, these two statements clear cut declaration of innocence. To that extent, I have proven not just innocence. To that extent. But again, something's troubling me, you know. Because this press statement what MDB conveniently, conveniently left out a whole chunk of facts. Which they have not disclosed. And Aru Kanda, the present CEO, 
has proven to have lied, lied blatantly. This man is a liar. He lies and lies on behalf of what MDB and on behalf of the Prime Minister. You see, he didn't tell you. The board of directors didn't tell you. Najib, the sole operating authority, didn't tell you all the members of MKT, the Supreme Council of AMNO, the real power in Malaysia, not the cabinet, didn't tell you that others have inspired. Okay? That they defrauded Bank Nagara, obtained approval on false pretenses. It's just terrible, man. That's why I couldn't sleep. Last two nights I couldn't sleep. Because when I read the press statement, I was so happy. Najib is innocent. There's a press statement. And I pray to God that thank God. Malaysia has reclaimed its dignity and respect. No more problems anymore. No more shame. We are now a dignified country. Then, Alama, I read the complaint of the DOJ and then I watched the press conference of the Twin General of the Lord Lynch. And then, more importantly, like, oh, this is really, really frightening. That really shook me up. Because we are told by the IGB, eh? Inspector General, please, have faith in police. Eh? In the way they have been professional in conduct investigation. Please have confidence. When a police officer investigate, they do so professionally, with integrity and honesty and a God-fearing. So if we are to repose that kind of trust and confidence in the IGP, in the police force, in its investigation arm, and with the integrity and professionalism of the Attorney General Chambers, and the Attorney General of Malaysia, Tan Sri Apandi, as they invite us to repose that kind of confidence in them and their team, I think we ought to likewise repose the same confidence in other investment agencies, in other countries, and the Attorney General, who has proven through the whole world, in many cases, that they have this trust in duty with professionalism. Okay? So, I was very confused because at the end of the complaint by the Attorney General of the USA, in conjunction with the Attorney General of California, where the civil complaint was filed, in accordance with the California law, because all the assets and all the ill-gotten money siphoned off are now located in California, there is a requirement by law, but under California law, under US law, that when a complaint is filed, a civil complaint, even a civil complaint, mind you, which is not even a, 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 a applicable in Malaysia, we don't have this requirement in Malaysia, Right? Or even UK. But US, there is this requirement. They call it, when after you file a complaint and make allegations, okay, of wrongdoing, there must be verification of all the paragraphs, of all the statements made in the complaint, in the civil suit. In Malaysia, it's called statement of claim. What do you call it in uh, Bahasa Malayu? Statement of claim? Penyataan tuntutan. Penyataan tuntutan. Okay? 
But we don't have to have a verification, right? By way of say, a certain declaration or affidavit that what we say in this statement of claim is the truth, okay? But in America, this is a requirement, and I'll read to you. And this came a shock to me, okay? So it stopped me in my tracks. Oh my God! We should be very careful to dismiss this allegation. Why? I read to you. It says here, now, uh, why is, this is taken from the complaint of the Attorney General of the USA. Verification. You got it? No lie. There's a name there and there's a signature there. I will now read to you, okay? Huh? You can go to the uh, internet to download this document. I'll read to you, okay? I, Robert B. Hewling, hereby verify and declare under penalty of perjury. Meaning, if he's lying, he can be go to prison eh? for perjury, for telling lies. Declare under the penalty of perjury that I am a special agent with the Federal Bureau of Investigation. That I have read the foregoing verified complaint for the forfeiture in the realm and know the contents thereof and the matters contained in the verified complaint are true to the best of my knowledge and belief. The sources of my knowledge, I repeat, the sources of my knowledge and information, see he's disclosing that, and the grounds of my belief are official files and records of the United States of the government means publicly available files and historical information information supplied to me by other law enforcement officers experts and other witnesses as well as my investigation in this case together with others as a special agent of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. I hereby declare under the penalty of perjury that the foregoing is true and correct. This is a very, very powerful statement. He is making it knowing that he lied. He can be charged, arrested, charged in prison for perjury. See, in Malaysia, when you file an affidavit, only when you file an affidavit or a such a declaration that you must give your source of information and belief. Of course, if you give wrong information in a statute declaration or an affidavit, you commit perjury. But there's no requirement for such a statement to accompany a statement of claim in any civil suit in Malaysia. Guarantee you this. But in USA, he's a special agent. He says his source is records of the US government, public files, information given by other law enforcement agencies and officers, experts and witnesses. Oh my God! And he was involved in the investigation. Oh my God! So sad, it's so sad. Kepala pening lah sekarang. Ayah, how can I be so stupid? Ayo, so stupid to say he was innocent lah. Ayah, and just rely on the press statement. I malu lah, betul malu lah, betul malu lah. With this lah, habis cerita lah, habis cerita. Okay, habis cerita. See, even to today, you know, the chairman of PAC wouldn't dare to make such a statement. Tabrani lah, ayo. AG pun tabrani buat satu statement yang macam. IGP pun tabrani buat statement yang macam tau. And they're conducting investigations. Alamak. 
Mita Bafo, Mita Bafo, okay? I was too presumptuous to declare straight away the innocence of Najib and all the scumbags in MKT, Supreme Council of Amno. Hmm? This will tell you, right? Okay, something technical, doesn't matter, right? Ini lah satu K, satu silver suit in rem, I N R E M, in rem. Ini satu Latin lah, ha? bahasa Latin. Makna, when you file an action, nak seize, nak tangkap assets. Sebab, you takut. Duit, asset kena transfer, hilang, you catch first. Before the horse boats out of the barn door. Sebelum, duit surat keluar, surat terbang. You kasak dulu. So, is an action in ram. Ini bukan action, court action, the hantam defendant sendiri. The personalities. Jolo, Najib, Tariq Obey, Prince Turkey. Ini in ram. I-N R-E-M. Okay. Kalau nak falkan satu claim, satu action, satu case in court kepada defendant contoh Jolo Syarul dan lain-lain okay. Patrick Mahoney Tarik Obey Husseini Obesi ini action yang last dalam bahasa Latin in Latin is in I am in personam means personal action sebab itulah Tak kira Bagi name, tiap-tiap name lah, nama Or names of defendant Ini in RAM Tengok, tengok lah Tengok bawah itu, tengok bawah itu Tengok this Perkara In RAM Fokus tak? Ha? In RAM This is what I've explained to you Ha? DJ, uh, AG of USA going after assets belum lagi cari the individual okay before they can take away you know the assets the money likewise you know the drug raid against the Taikos the mastermind that's what Simpan Dway assets the line line the person will raid the house first alright cast all the money as evidence lepas itu we hunt down the individual then we file action in personam. Ini action in rem. Faham tak? Senang tak? Faham tak? Ini action in America is to go after the assets. Not the Nigeria. To collect the evidence. Okay? Now, it's not faham tak? Okay, huh? okay, okay. Very good. Tapi, now I want to read to you, eh? Because we are asked to believe a pandi, bukan? AG, dia buat conference, bukan? Press conference. You know, when he declared, right? Najib was innocent, he gave a press conference, remember? No? He was holding two diagram, right? Sebelah kanan, sebelah kiri. Eh? A diagram, remember? Alright? Few months ago, he gave a press conference, Najib's innocent. He was holding two documents. I'll come back to that later, right? And we are asked to believe him. Okay? So if we are asked to believe AG Malaysia, Mesti lah uh, Level playing field We must also believe AG USA lah Bagi dia sikit-sikit lah respect lah Bukan uh, You can't have one One respect for AG Malaysia Tak respect AG USA Alright Unless you tell me Dua-dua orang busuk uh, So we have to give a benefit of doubt Okay So I'll read to you What AG USA says uh. Now Please I beg you All of you this will be a long address. Be patient. If you want to know the truth, you have to understand this. Statement by Attorney General Loretta Lynch. This claim, this complaint, is the largest single action ever by the Kleptocracy Asset Initiative and a significant step in our ongoing work to combat global corruption 
and to ensure that the United States offers no safe haven to those who illegally use public funds for private gain. The one billion in assets that we are discussing today are just a portion of the more than three billion that was stolen from MDB and loaded through American institutions in violation of the law. One MD was created to promote economic development. Unfortunately and tragically, a number of corrupt officials treated this public trust as a personal bank account. Personal bank account lah susah ni. Ayo, okay. Lepas itu, the Esther Attorney General, nama dia Leslie Cockwell, dia berkata, corrupt officials transferred money using a series of transactions involving more shared companies and bank accounts located all over the globe. Eventually, more than 230 million of that found its way in the account of shell companies whose beneficial owner was a close relative of senior one MDB official. And that individual used money to buy luxury real estate in the United States and other assets. And also used that money to fund a motion picture company called Red Granite Pictures, who in turn used more than 100 million to finance the award winning film The Wolf of Wall Street. Of course, neither one MDB or the Malaysian people saw a penny of the profit from that film or the other assets purchased with funds siphoned from one MDB. Instead, the money went to associates of the corrupt officials at one MDB and others. Eli, in his statement from AG USA and at Aston AG USA, you can't say they're lying, okay? This was brought to the whole world, lah, yo. Unless, unless, all right, Najib, AG, Malaysia, IGP of Malaysia can prove statement itu dari AG USA, dari Assistant AG USA, tak betul, penipu, then we have to accept it. We have to accept it. And compare this statement with that of our Attorney General. Am I right? Wait lah, huh? Justice lah must wait. Say who is telling the truth, right? Ah, ini macam okay. Then ini lagi teruk. Ini lebih betul teruk tau. Huh? FBI Deputy Director Andrew McKay. The FBI investigating sebukan earlier the agent gave a statement, right? Very fine, the truth, right? Now the Deputy Director is is giving a statement. They use the money to pay gambling debts at Las Vegas Casino. <laughs> oh my God. They rented luxury yachts. They hired an interior decorator in London and spent millions on property. Among the purchase was a jet for the purchase price of 35 million. Alamak, they have to buy a private jet. Everybody want to go buy a private jet. You know why? Right? Our private jet, we were seven in the country. So why does this matter so much to us? Certainly, there are lots of going on in the world right now. Terrorist attacks, violent crime, and serious threats to American citizens and people around the world. Why does the current case halfway around the world matter so much to us today? Well, I tell you for a few reasons. First, because some of the profits of these schemes were invested in the United States. And when corrupt officials bring their ill-gotten gains to the United States, they also bring with them their corrupt practices and his regard for the rule of law and that presents a threat to our economy and impacts trade and investment and fuels the growth of criminal enterprises and undermines our fair democratic processes. Alamak, ini ya, teruk lah. Betul teruk. So now, given all these things, right, can you really say that there's no evidence? Alright? There's no evidence at all of complicity, of crimes, by what MDB officials? Cannot, isn't it? 
So I'm sorry lah, you know. I, I make a mistake, okay? I make a mistake, I'm sorry. I make a mistake. To assume and try to prove by the press statement that Najib was innocent, one and B was innocent. Never mind. I chuba lagi, okay? I chuba lagi, eh? okay? I'll try. It. Maybe another way I can prove Najib is innocent. Now, you will notice the AD said that Najib is innocent because there's no controversy of law, Malaysian law. But in the DOJ complaint, they say, and as per the statement, right, which I quote to you, they have contravened U.S. law, thereby undermining the U.S. economy, the rule of law in the U.S., and the democratic system in the U.S. However, however, ini yang teruk lah. The DOJ, Attorney General, they're all lawyers, huh? say that what MDB and all these crooks but to also contravene Malaysian law. Alamak, ini susah lah. I didn't know they knew Malaysian law, no. But if they say they've contravened Malaysian law, I think we have to be more careful, huh? huh? We can't insult them, lah, you know. Law is law, bukan? Alright? Okay, this is what I said. Para 499, eh? Page 131 of the BOJ complaint filing court. This is what it says. I quote to you. Eh? Misappropriating public funds by a public official is a criminal offence under Malaysian law as enumerated in the Penal Code of Malaysia, including but not limited to sections 403. This honest misappropriation of property. Section 405. Criminal breach of trust. Section 409. Criminal breach of trust by public servant or agent. Section 166. Public servant disobeying a direction of the law with intent to cause injury to any person, including a company. Section 415. Cheating. Section 418. Cheating with knowledge that wrongful laws may be thereby caused to a person whose interest the offender is bound to protect. And section 420, cheating and dishonestly inducing delivery property. And the Malaysian Anti-Corruption Act of 2009, including section 16, 17, 23. I love that. Bank fraud is a criminal offence under Malaysian law as enumerated by the Penal Code of Malaysia, right? Including, but not to section 415, 418, and 420. Alright? It also is an offence under the criminal offence under UAE law. Okay? Under the Penal Code of UAE. Right? Milis. Article 224, 225, 227, 228, 229, 399. That means what they are saying. So, Dara Saudari, not only has one MDB, the Najib regime, and all their accomplices, those scumbags, financial rapists, contravene US law, they have contravened Malaysian law, then UAE. Makna Abu Dhabi, dan lain-lain lah. Kata. That's why. They're going to capture all these assets, right? All this money first. So that they will not spend the money to pay gambling debts in Las Vegas, buy jet, you know, Bombardier jet, property, live like a king, right? You know? Dancing and smoking coke with Paris Hilton, you know? And it's not quite a joke, no? And it's a complete, no? Ay, yeah, malu, no? Malu, no? Malu, malu, no? I should have said, no? I can, I can prove. Ay, yeah, that's been a sense, no? Ay, ay, yeah. I think I'm getting a bit confused, you know. I mean, uh, maybe not enough sleep. Uh. Okay, never mind. I will try again. Uh. I will try again one more time. Uh, but is there a chance? Uh. I'll try again one more time that I can prove that she's innocent. You know, earlier, uh, AG said, right, 
Najib got names there in the in the claim. Tala nama Najib. Alamak. I thought I, I was very happy lah. Tala nama. Huh? Okay? Because in the charge, I must say lah. Like my charge, you know, under sospa. I, Matthias Chang, dengan Tatu Karudin, Abu Hassan. Melawat lima negara dan buat laporan polis. Sebab itu, uh, I am a terrorist. Ada nama tak Matthias Chang. Dan Tatu Karudin Hassan. Tapi dia cakap, dalam ini komplit tak ada nama, Najib. Sebab itu, terasa. Wow. I almost believe that. This I was so confident just now. I can prove what you've been Tapi, this morning when I woke up, I remember my father told me in those days when young, you know, a rose by any other name smell as sweet. But no, if this is a rose, uh, flower is a rose, you call it right? Uh, some other name. It's still a rose, lah. Right? Right? It doesn't matter what you call. You look at the context, the reality. Name is not that important. So long as you can identify what is the flower. Hmm? Right? No, no. Rose, 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 rose. You don't know, you know, you know, you know, try to say. Okay, never mind. So, now in the, uh, in the, uh, at the para 39, uh, at the para 39, okay? Very important, uh? very important. And he says, I did not uh, see any reference to Najib's name in the complaint. Never mind. But I will, I will use this, right, to support Najib's innocence. Hopefully, I will do it. Uh. I succeed. Uh. Pray, uh, pray. Uh. I succeed. Okay. Para 39, page 13 of the, of the complaint. Upon his formation, Malaysian official one, uh, in, the, in, the, in the name, uh, the, 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 the reference, uh, Malaysian official one, assume a position of authority with what MDB. Malaysian official one had the authority to approve all appointments to and remove from one MDB board of directors and one MDB senior manager team. In addition, any financial commitments by one MDB, including investments that were likely to affect a guarantee given by the government of Malaysia for the benefit of one MDB or any policy of the Malaysian government required the approval of Malaysian official one. Okay, remember, they have identified, right? They call someone, not a number, but they give a title, Malaysian official one. Banyak kuasa. Now, so when read this, eh, betul lah, Najib. Name is not there. Tetapi in the Articles of Association, or what MDB, the only person with all these powers, eh, cannot be denied. In the company, you know, huh? company, quasi company, okay? The person with all these powers is Najib. I forgot, lah. I forgot, lah. I forgot, lah. Stupid, lah. I forgot, lah. Stupid, lah. I forgot, lah. It's Najib. There's one article that says Najib is a sole authority, tau. One person, sole authority, so shareholder. Allah, man, this is so, yo, so, 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 so. And then, uh, and then, so, how? No name, but it refers to the official who has authority, and the person of authority is, on the other is Najib. Okay? So I got still up. Never mind. We try another way. He then said the money uh, that was received by him is supposed to account. Donation from the Arab, uh, you know, Arab. So therefore, donation not crime, lah. What more donation to fight ISIS? Ay, oh my God, to fight terrorism, lah. Surely it must be innocent, lah. How can Najib, right, receive donation? Hey, Achoy, Mustafa, Garisan, jangan marah, lah. They receive donation to fight ISIS. He must be innocent, okay? Okay? Support me, lah. Back me, lah. Please, okay? Uh, give him a chance. Give me face, okay? And he says, later he says, it's a Saudi prince. And there is a surat, you know, to show that there was a Saudi prince. That is what AJ says, the money in his account, 681 million US, uh, which came to about 2.6 billion, he had a donation. Then, subsequently, about 620, 
hantar balik bukan? Ha? Return back to an account in Singapore. Oh, yo. So, how can he be guilty? Lah, yo. See, I told you, I can prove him innocent. Is it? I told you, right? So, I was so happy. Lah. And then I read this. And then I read this. Alamak. Ayo, yo. Ayo, yo. I read this. Alamak. I read this. Hold on, huh? You give me two minutes. Lah. Ayo, yo. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Para 101, huh? page 30 of the DOJ claim. Coronet Bank records from JB Morgan Chase and Wells Fargo showed that days after transfer from Good Start account, controlled by Joe Lowe huh? and the PSI co founder, Petro Saudi. Huh? Tarik obey and Prince Turkey ya. Ini Saudi Prince lah. Ini Arab tau. Prince Turkey. Uh, transfer approximately 20 million in funds to M private banking account. Most likely the private, uh, sorry, the, more specifically the M private banking account received one, a wire of approximately 10 million on about February 23rd to 011. Roughly five years after Petro Saudi co-founder received 2.5 million from Gusta account and two another wire for approximately 10 million on about 13 June 2011. Roughly three days, Petro Saudi co-founder received 12 million from Gusta account. These funds were transferred in and out of PSI co-founder account as follows. Okay, this is the first first transfer. One MDB to good star to the Saudi prince. Can you see the table? Huh? Okay? You got it? Okay. Then later, alright, and this, this admitted uh, by the Attorney General that the monies came from Tango Finance through Fabian Bank into largest personal account, right? 681 million US dollars. And before that, we were also told there was an email. No, no. Joe Lowe says in a code, la, code language, you know, they take code. La. 681 American Pie akan datang to the account. 681 American Pie. Code for 681 US million dollars. So, next paragraph, la, 102, page 34. Plaintiff alleges on information and belief that Malaysian official one is ultimate beneficiary of M private banking account. This is not in dispute because AG Malaysia Apandia confirmed that the M private banking account is the same account that later receives certain payments totally approximately 681 million in March 2013. 681 million US uh, when transfer to ring it is about 2.6 billion. Okay, ring it as set forth in para 263 below. The Attorney General of Malaysia Alama, has publicly stated that the account into which these 681 million papers were made belong to Malaysian official what? Alalaya. Now I'm shooting bricks. And now I'm really ashamed. Allah, my, I thought he was innocent. I say I'm going to prove he's innocent. AG says there's no name <coughs> of Najib in the uh, complaint. But tapi, remember not the press conference of AG uh, when he acquitted and said Najib not in, uh, is innocent. He said, yes, the cow. In which 681 million is deposited from Tenno Corporation, Val Falcon Bank to M Bank, for which the Prime Minister Najib has admitted he received the money, belongs to Prime Minister Najib and AJIB Najib. Hey, yo, this is sad, isn't it? So, although DOJ complaint did not name Najib in the complaint, Alama, ini, ini fella, lawyer lah, AG, Pandi, he pit boy. <laughs> Susah lah ni. He pit boy Najib. I tell you lah, 
AG is shooting his foot lah. I think he'll be sacked. Lah. I think he'll be sacked. You know why? The OJ complain tak ada nama. Tapi AG says the bank account in M Bank that received six eight one million is Najib account, and Najib has confessed. But told the account. So now, with all this transaction and investigation, DOJ says what? But don't they say what? Went to the account, and bank account. So, how much cerita lah? How much cerita? Ayo. You see, sorry lah, you know, I mean that maaf. I try to prove his innocence, okay? As a lawyer. Because the lawyer must be objective, isn't it? Everyone is innocent to prove guilty, right? I tried. Huh? Sorry, Najib. Sorry, MKT. I tried. But I failed. Sorry. Huh? Okay? But maybe that's why God is great. Truth must come out. Justice must prevail. You see, English language, right, is a very subtle language. English language is very nuanced language. You must be very sophisticated to appreciate English language. And sometimes, the English language, right, when written or spoken in a certain way, is most diplomatic. You know, buggy face lah. When you're diplomatic, you buggy face. So instead of naming Najib in the action in RAM, there's not an action in personnel, you know, it's not a personal action. It's actually to confiscate assets. Tak guna lah, bagi nama, bagi Najib face lah, so that he will retire and resign lah. When it comes out. So bagi me, it's a way out, you know what I mean? Bagi a way out to the back door. So name on the mention. Just as right, Joe Lowe says 681 American Pie to mean 681 American US dollar in account. So they say, Malaysia official one, you know? You know his number plate? PM's car number plate? Number one! Who's number one in Chantry? PM lah! First lady of Malaysia, Flong, Siapa? Number one! Who? Rosma lah! One! One, 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 one lah! Senang faham kan? So, when DOJ complaints say, Malaysia official number one, it cannot be the king, is it? King's not official lah, the Agong is a king. King's not official, it's not officer. Tapi Prime Minister, it's not officer. Officer civil servant lah. Huh? Or, or officer in the company. Official means what? Menteri lah. Menteri. Who's the one menteri in Malaysia? Huh? In the cabinet? Perdana Menteri! Alamak. I was so stupid lah. When I thought he was innocent, I lupa tau. I lupa ingat, I lupa. Official in English language, in diplomatic language, is what? Perdana Menteri! And who is Perdana Menteri, the Prime Minister? Najib lah. If you don't know Najib, right, ask who is the First Lady lah? Kalau First Lady is right, the from uh, is Rosma. Who is the first official? The husband lah. Who's the husband? Prime Minister lah. Najib, okay? Habis cerita, okay? So sorry, I have to stop here. Because I think there's so many other information that I can talk about. But I think what you do is right, you know? You discuss with your lawyer friends, you download the like, entire Purdue uh, complaint. But I think what I've said to you in this rather long address, and I don't apologize because I was trying to prove his innocence, you know? It is easy to prove innocence, sir. Huh? In this system, in this system, it's sort of rigged out. So I'm fighting against a rigged system, you know? Kita pun susah. I myself, you know, lawyer. I think for a client, it's just for terrorists and my fighting for innocence. And no, it's helping me. Not just helping me, you know. And yet, I'm still fighting for him you know, to prove his innocence. But sorry, lah. I mean, that ma for it to the whole country, yeah. I can't. I could not. Because AG misled me. IGP misled me. Press Secretary of PMO mis misled me. One MD misled me. Chairman of PAC misled me to believe he's innocent. And yet, when I do all this research, right, which I must do as a lawyer, say, right, to prepare a case, right, 
I found out, alamak, I was so stupid lah, to declare in my, you know, my title of my address lah, my video, right, to say to you, ah, I will prove much innocence. Too rash lah, I think, ah. Damai lah, I'm a human being, okay? Forgive my sins, okay? And forgive my transgression, lah, for this one, okay? So now, I swear to you, I promise you, this is the one time I will try to prove Najib's innocence. From today onwards, lah, no more. All out war. All out war against all the members of MKT who after this, all this information, still declare Najib is innocent. When I've been proven wrong, they're not innocent. Right? Then they must not be forgiven. They must all brought before the court of law, arrested, charged under Sosma and Penal Code, under those sections we I just wrote to you, right? We put it to, uh, we it to you. Put them in jail and throw the key. And we will win and we will prevail. Provided, as I said always, surrender to the will of God completely. Eh? Surrender to the will of God completely. Have absolute faith that He will defend us, protect us, and more importantly, guide us against all adversities, all enemies. So that we will be on the right path to achieve victory and justice. It will surely come. I guarantee you this. Have faith. Follow me. Together, we will win. With that, I thank you for your patience in this rather long address. I hope you understand. May God bless you and have a weekend.